the Dyson Airwrap or the Supersonic. Which one should you go for? Well, today is your lucky day because as you can see, I'm the proud owner of both. So today I'm gonna to do a side-by-side -side comparison and I'm also just gonna walk you through my honest opinions on both to help you make a decision. Let's get into the attachments. If you're like not new to this channel, you may remember, was it like last year, someone broke into my car and stole the box of my Supersonic. Luckily, I already had the Supersonic in the house with three attachments. So I had the diffuser, this nozzle, and the wide tooth comb. And the reason that those were in the house is because they're the only three I actually cared about. So I actually don't remember what other accessories it came with, but those are the only three I use. I've had the Supersonic for way longer than I had the Air Wrap. And if I'm being honest, the only one I really use now is just the wide tooth comb. I rarely find an opportunity to use this. The nozzle is normally good if you want to do like a round brush blow dry. I'm not skilled in that. And then the diffuser, I've not really found a purpose for the diffuser. So that's that. I only use one out of the three I have. Whereas with the Supersonic, they have this firm smoothing brush. They also have this round bristle brush, a wide tooth comb. I don't think this actually just comes. I think you need to like request it separately. This is like for like smoothing down flyaways, maybe for my wigs, but not for my natural hair. And then we have our two air wrap, you know, the infamous air wrap thing. We've got two of those nozzles. I would probably use all of them apart from this one. So straight off the bat with the attachments, I feel like the air wrap gives you more bang for your buck because I do think you'll be able to find more ways to use it. Whereas with the Supersonic, it's really just a wide tooth comb and that's it. I'm actually so proud that my hair looks like this right now. Unless you've been following me on TikTok, you will not know the journey my hair has gone on to get back to this state. But I'll leave that for another video. My new favorite heat protector is this one by Redken. So I'm gonna put this on now. So my first thing that I'm not obsessed with with my air wrap, very pedantic thing, is that I've got a matte one. So like you can literally see whenever I touch it, it's just got all these grease prints in it and it's just not that nice. Pedantic, it's not that serious. I'm sure there's other color ranges you can get that you won't see that. Because of the Supersonic, the only attachment I'm gonna to use today is the wide tooth comb. So it only makes sense that I also start off with the wide tooth comb on the air wrap. And then we can see which one of these gets your hair smoother. The way in which the attachments go onto the air wrap is not magnet, it's like a click into place thing. And then when you wanna release it, you press this button. And the way it does it with the uh, Supersonic is with a magnet. Now, I much prefer the magnet on this one because it just does not budge. However, if your hair is not tang detangled enough with the air wrap, this will become, it will come off. That is one point to the supersonic. I did medium heat with the full power and this is what my hair looks like. My roots feel like it's definitely got to my roots. It's nice and smooth and straight. So now let's move on to the next side. So this is the wide tooth comb on the Supersonic and this is the wide tooth comb on the Air Wrap. So I think we can straight away see this side is way smoother than that. So this is the same amount of hair, but this is like sleeker and this still has a lot of body and it's poofier. The wide tooth attachment on this didn't really manage to make my hair that smooth. So I'm now gonna switch to the firm smooth and brush attachment and see if that can get this to match this. So after using the firm smoothing brush on this side, now we can see we are competing with the Supersonic. In fact, personally for me, I feel like this side feels better. I don't know what magic is in the firm smoothing brush, but when they say smoothing, they're not joking because the way my strands literally feel smooth. So I'm actually really excited for the day I do a silk press after using this firm smoothing brush because my hair already feels really like silky. I don't know how, I don't know why, but your, this just, it just feels more hydrated. It feels like silky, it feels smooth. My cuticles don't feel rough at all. Whereas this side has a little bit of roughness to it. So it is a pretty hard one because with the air wrap, it's like this isn't good enough on its own. And this technically isn't good enough on its own either. Although you get this amazing, gorgeous result, like your hair feels smooth, this gets nowhere near close enough to your roots. So you do need to swap in for the wide tooth comb to get closer. However, the wide tooth comb on the Supersonic is, as you can see, way better than the wide tooth comb on the Air Wrap. If you don't really care about how smooth your hair is after a blow dry, then I guess you can just go with the Supersonic, use the wide tooth comb attachment. You're still gonna get a really nice press, a really nice blowout, and you only need to use one attachment. So in my opinion, the winner of which could get your hair smoother is the Air Wrap. That's it with the Supersonic, we're done, because I only have one attachment. We're gonna now move into the round bristle brush. 
I've actually never used this, so we're going to both do it together. So to keep this test fair, I've got the same amount of hair as I did at the back, and I'm going to see how long it takes to use the round bristle brush to do this whole section. Firstly, that brush was not going through this whole thing, so I did have to work in smaller bits. That's already a bit of a con, because the other brushes I could just do a big section, and it was a lot easier. By the time I finished this entire section, it took a whopping seven minutes. It took so long for me to just get to this point. It doesn't matter how long I was going, it just was not really changing. So for me, time it already loses on that because it just took too long the good thing is it definitely got way closer to the root than anything else like my roots are way smoother here than the other two that's not me saying my roots are not smooth with the other two which i'm talking about the wide tooth combs this almost feels like straightened my roots with this so very good on the roots not so great on the ends in terms of smoothness my head definitely feels smooth but it still doesn't feel as smooth as it does on this side which is the firm smooth inside brush. This is second smoothest, this is the least smoothest. So for me, I'm still definitely sold on using the air wrap with the firm smoothing brush and the white tooth comb in the roots. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my hair using the firm smoothing brush, because clearly that is the winner. This is what I like the best. And then I'm gonna try out the air wrap, because I know a lot of people wanna see how this works on Afro hair. I'm sure the elephant in the room, you're probably wondering, why is your hair cut like this, Nooch? Like, what have you done? And like I said, We'll get into that on another video. Um, just know my hair has been through it this year. Like, it's really been through it. So we'll, we'll talk about that in another video. So, but in this video, we can conclude that the air wrap does give a slightly smoother result. Um, and also it offers you more variety because there, are, because there are more accessories or whatever you call them, attachments to work with. What I did end up doing, because it was just getting so tiring having to take this off after each section, put the white tooth comb on, then put it back on. It was getting a bit annoying. So I did end up just using the supersonic on my roots first and then switching to this. So there really is benefits in having both, but I do feel like that's overkill and a waste of money. Like do not buy both for that reason. However, if you already have this and you know you want to treat yourself, fair enough. Now I'm sure this is the moment you have all been waiting for. It's the air wrap function on thick, very thick, full C Afro hair. The air wrap is really cool because what happens, it blows the air in one direction and if you want to change it, you just have to do a little twist at the top. It's all done by via this thing called the Coanda effect. So it's just basically like the air wraps your hair around it. So you 1000% need it to be on the highest power. But let's get into it. I'm going to show you what happens. This is the highest heat and the highest airflow. I'm gonna hold it here for about 30 seconds. Then we're gonna use this to switch it to cool air. So switch it right to the bottom. It's now on cool air and I'm gonna do this for another 30 seconds until this goes completely cool. Off it goes and I'm gonna just drag that out. Oh. oh okay it has given it a really nice bump you know what i would be keen to see what this looks like if i did it on my whole hair it's not so much so like a curl especially because i used the bigger one there are two i just don't know what the other one is right now but there's one that's slightly thinner. Not so much a curl, especially because my hair's quite short right now, but that actually works on my Afro hair. I am kind of shook. That looks so good. Of course, it's not gonna give you smoothness, so doing this with my natural hair is gonna have some texture, and I actually think it is really nice. Um, maybe one day, not today, I'll do it on my whole hair, and we can see like how long this lasts and whatever. But yeah, I am actually pretty impressed. That brings us to the end of this video. And my final verdict, my final conclusion, is that I definitely feel like the air wrap wins. Firstly, because it gets your hair way smoother. You have better bang for your buck. You know, better value for money because you get to use multiple different attachments. As a 40 natural girl, that is really good to have so many attachments that actually work for our hair. Whereas with the supersonic, literally the only attachment I use is the wide tooth comb. It is great. You saw how like smooth it gets your hair, very straight, very quickly. And the tool itself is just more powerful. So I think it does it a bit faster. I'm gonna to need to watch this back to see. Very good in that aspect. However, 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 it is just one attachment. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that I helped in your decision making and I shall see you in my next video where maybe I think I'll do that one next where I basically walk you through what's happened to my hair. See ya, bye.